Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this lecture, we will be talking about how we can start Firefox in Selenium with Python. So in the last lecture, we discussed how to install a Selenium and we have seen how to start Chrome browser session, right? But today we'll talk about Firefox. So process is almost same. You just need to first of all import the web driver and then you need to call Firefox and we simply need to provide the Geekoo driver. So let's see one by one. So let's do one thing. Let's go back to our Selenium script package. So this was our previous file. So in case if you haven't seen that video, I will give you that video link in the description. Please go ahead and watch where we discussed about few methods and about the Chrome. Now I will do one thing. I will simply go ahead and create a new Python file and this Python file I will give Firefox Selenium. Now again, I will do the same thing. I will first of all import web driver. So I just need this from Selenium. So I will say from Selenium and we just need to import web driver. So let's simply call Firefox. So I will say web driver dot Firefox. And again, it's coming from Selenium dot web driver. As you can see, now I just need to invoke Firefox and whatever object I will get, I will store into a driver variable. Now you can write anything as usual. I just I'm giving driver. So just right click and run and you will see we will be getting one exception as usual. Same exception we got for Chrome as well. But for that it was, uh, you know, expecting a Chrome driver. But for Firefox, it is expecting a Gecko driver. So how do we get the Gecko driver? Exactly same process. You just need to go to selenium.dev, go to downloads and in the download, just scroll down till browser section and you can just go to this Firefox and click on the documentation. You will be getting uh, different releases of Gecko drivers. So just click on the first link Gecko driver releases and you can download the latest release which they have. Okay, so right now we have 0 0.27 it released uh, recently. So what we will do, we will click on 0 0.27.0 and what I will do, I will simply download for Windows 64. So depends on your operating system, you can download the respective binary and using for Windows 64. In case if you have Windows 32, Mac OS and Linux different operating systems, you can go ahead with that. Let's download Windows 64. It's downloaded almost. So we will simply extract this. So I will click on show in folder. This is the Gecko driver we have. Right click, click on extract here. And we got this Gecko driver. So I will simply copy the path and I will provide this path. So just expand this. So what you need to do, you just need to say executable path. And here you can simply paste the path. Okay, just copy paste the path that we have copied. And in Windows, either use one forward slash or two backwards. I'm using two backward slash. And what it will do, it will simply detect this Gecko driver from this location and it should start our Firefox. Okay, let's run it and see. So it's starting and here we go. Firefox takes time. So you can see Firefox started and we haven't written much. So it's not invoking or it's not opening any application. So what we will do, we'll quickly uh, call a get method. In the get method, we will simply provide application that you want to open. Let's say I want to open my own blog. So this is my blog called learn-automation.com. Then I simply want to capture the title. So I will simply say print driver dot get or simply say driver dot title. So it will get the title and it will print. Let me also get few other details. If I say current URL, so it will capture the current URL and it will print again. And once it is done, I will simply say driver dot quit. I don't want to continue. I want to close the browser. Again, guys, right now we are not interacting with web element. I just want to show you how to get started with all the browsers. And once we're done with that, we will see how to interact with web elements as well. Yes, so let's close all these logs and let me run it again. Run Firefox Selenium. It detected the path as you can see from the console. It will launch the application. 
or the blog which I mentioned which is learn com, and you can see it is having a title called automation hyphen selenium web driver something right and this is exactly what it captured and this was the current URL as per this and finally it did driver.quit so it's very easy it is just you need to provide the path of this keiko driver.exe and rest everything is same that is the beauty of selenium that you don't need to change the complete script right whenever you have to change the browser you just need to call their respective classes and you just need to provide their respective executable and rest everything will be taken care of. yeah so that's a very short video i hope you enjoyed it if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe and if you like this video then please hit the like button share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.